Hey everyone, hope you're having a fantastic day. Folks, Girl Scout cookie season is underway. So, to celebrate, I picked up eight boxes of Girl Scout cookies from a table in my community. I've got eight different flavors here. We've got Toffee-tastic, Dosey -si Dos, Tagalongs, Trefoils, Thin Mints, Samoas, Lemon Ups, and s'mores. I was going to get all 12 flavors, there are actually 12, but four of the flavors for some reason are not sold in my area. I contacted the Girl Scout Council of my area and they told me I have to go to Eastern Massachusetts to try to find them. I just don't have the time to do that, so for now, I'm just gonna settle with these eight. Now this is going to be a challenge slash review video. Not only am I gonna try to take down all eight flavors, but I am going to review them from my least favorite to my most favorite. This is gonna be a pretty interesting video because I know some people have very strong opinions about Girl Scout cookies. And um, you may disagree with my opinion on these. So now I'm going to unbox all of them and we're going to get this challenge started. Not my neatest unboxing job, but nevertheless the cookies are exposed. <laughs> I'm going to use a timer for this challenge. I'm not going to go for speed. I'm just going to enjoy the cookies and give my honest reviews on them. So, with all that said, ladies and gentlemen, this is the almost one of every box of Girl Scout Cookie Challenge. We're going to start with the Samoas because they're probably going to be my least favorite. I want to get those right out of the way. And folks, this challenge begins in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, start. I'm knocking over boxes. <laughs> Alright, let's get to the Samoas. I believe the Samoas are, yep, crisp caramel coconut and dark chocolatey stripes. They're not as bad as I remember them being. Coconut is one of those foods that I can tolerate, but I'm not the biggest fan of. These are okay. Interesting, they got the toasted coconut sprinkled along the outside. On the inside, it's like a cookie wafer of some kind. I like take a, a cookie disc, they douse it in caramel, drizzle it with some dark chocolate, and sprinkle some toasted coconut on it. Alright, the Samoas are down. Probably gonna rank those near the bottom somewhere, because like I said, they're not my favorite. I'm not the biggest fan of coconut. So Let's move on to a flavor that I absolutely love, and that is s'mores. These are a sandwich cookie. I don't know if you can read that, but there's like a message on it. Yeah, Girl Scout s'mores. That's what it says on here. And on the back, it looks like... <laughs> I'm not sure what the design is on the back, but it looks like a Ferris wheel of some kind. I don't know. Here we go. Folks, anything s'mores flavored is incredible. Time to get creative. Double stuffed s'mores. The graham cracker cookies are pretty basic flavor-wise, but the filling, the chocolate and marshmallow filling, 
it's like so creamy and you can really taste, like it really does taste like a s'more. And the designs that they have on the back of the cookies, they're a really nice touch. I love how creative they got with the uh, s'mores. I think they're one of the more underrated uh, flavors. Trying to make like a quadruple decker s'mores cookie here. I don't know if it's really working because the frosting doesn't really stick well together. As a frosting, I'm not feeling. Absolutely amazing. S'mores are really good. I cannot get this plastic tip back into the bag, so forget it. <laughs> Up those boxes later. S'mores will probably rank somewhere at the top. Gotta wait till I get through all eight flavors before I get my final rankings. Now I think it's time we move on to a flavor I've never tried before. We're gonna do the Toffee-tastic. Rich buttery cookies with sweet crunchy toffee bits. I've had toffee before but never Toffee-tastic. That's what it looks like. Got little pieces of toffee bits in there. Not really crazy about that flavor. It's kind of bland. And um, I can taste some of the toffee, but I mostly just taste like, like a powdery blandness. Let me, let me try another one. I think there's a reason nobody talks about, what are they called again? <laughs> I forgot the name of it. Toffee-tastic. I think there's a reason nobody talks about Toffee-tastic as much as flavors like Thin Mints, Samoas, and Tagalongs, the top three. Because Toffee just isn't that good. All right, well, let's get through these. They're really dry, too. I can feel some of the toffee kind of sticking to my teeth. Nothing really special about them. Just a sugar cookie with little sticky pieces of toffee in them. Well, I'm done with the Toffee-tastic, thank goodness. Never thought I'd say this, but I think I'm gonna rank those below Samoas. Man, I just wasn't a fan of them. Okay, let's dig into another flavor I have never tried before. Let's get these um, Lemon Ups out of the way. All right. Small container, but uh, I just got a text message. I have do not disturb about. Why am I getting text messages? Okay, so Lemon Ups, they have some motivational quotes engraved into the cookie. I am creative. This one says, I am gutsy. I am a leader. That's right, because Girl Scouts are leaders. The future is female. <laughs> I'll give them points for creativity, but will I give them points for taste? Let's find out. I can taste a hint of lemon. I think they have some kind of lemon icing um, on the bottom. On the back of the cookie, it looks like they have some kind of lemon glaze. Yeah. Yeah, I think the rest of the cookie is just plain cookie. And then there's like a lemon glaze. The lemon flavor is not that strong. But at least they don't require as much chewing as the Toffee Tastic ones. I 
don't know if there's anything special about these lemon ups. I might rank them somewhere in the middle. Like, they're okay. I've had better lemon cookies. Folks, if you're ever feeling down and you need some motivational quotes to pick yourself up, just buy a box of Lemon Ups. I am strong. You are strong. You're a leader, you're a gutsy, you're a risk taker. You can do anything you set your mind to. Right now you want to buy a box of Lemon Ups. Lemonups are down. They were okay. Um, <clears throat> where to next? I'm wondering if I should take on the Thin Mints now or save them for last because I think they're the most popular flavor. Um, you know what? Let's get my favorite out of the way. My favorite are Tagalongs. Let me rearrange real quick. I think Tagalongs might be my personal favorite because I'm a sucker for peanut butter. And these are just so good. They're... These are crispy cookies layered with peanut butter covered in a chocolatey coating. That's right. It's like a Reese's peanut butter cup in cookie form. They're so good. The peanut butter is really creamy too. Like it's not too dry where it just gunks up your mouth. It's actually nice and smooth and creamy. Like if I just dig my finger into it so you guys can see the creaminess of the peanut butter a little bit. Amazing. Just can't go wrong with Tiger Longs. Back when I was living in New York, I had a co-worker whose uh, daughter was in Girl Scouts and she was selling cookies. She brought the order for me to work and I decided to order a couple of boxes. I ordered Tiger Longs and S'mores, my two favorites. I'll probably rank those number one and two by the end of this video. Wave bye bye to the Tagalongs. Awesome. Love it. All right, let's get the two flavors I haven't tried yet out of the way, and we'll save the Thin Mints for last. Dosey Dos are oatmeal sandwich cookies with peanut butter filling. We got peanut butter, so that's a good sign. I love peanut butter. Peanut butter and oatmeal. Interesting combination. All right, so here's what they look like. It's a sandwich cookie. It's got a peanut butter filling. Let's try them out. I probably made a mistake going from one peanut butter cookie to another. All I can taste right now is peanut butter. But uh, these are, they're pretty good. Yeah, I like them. They kind of remind me of Nutter Butter cookies. Now the tops and bottoms of the cookie, it looks like they bake little pieces of oats into them. So that's why they're called oatmeal peanut butter cookies. But I don't, I don't, it doesn't really taste like oatmeal to me. I think the peanut butter kind of overpowers it. They even look like nutter butter cookies in a way. If nutter butters were round. Overall, I think I'm going to give the Doji Dos a thumbs up. They're pretty good. Top tier.
do -si dos or do -si down They were pretty good. I like them. I need uh, some water. <laughs> My mouth is getting really dry from all of these cookies I'm eating. All right, we've gone to the trefoils. Traditional shortbread cookies. That's all it says. I don't know what to expect from a traditional shortbread cookie. I have never had these before. So we'll see how they compare to everything I've had thus far. So this is the design. This is what it looks like. I guess that's supposed to be shortbread. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what shortbread is supposed to taste like, but it's practically flavorless. There's not really much flavor to these cookies. They're not terrible. They're tolerable. I don't know, there doesn't seem to be anything special about these cookies. They're mostly flavorless. They're made with enriched flour. Yeah, enriched flour. Like, I guess that's how you make shortbread or something. They're not horrible. They're not the worst. <clears throat> but I think I'm definitely gonna have to rank them lower tier. They're also very dry. Like, they're drier than um, the top fantastic ones. Man, I got flavor fatigue just from that box alone. Trip oils. Done. Now, for the final box. The king or queen of Girl Scout cookies. The ones everyone talks about and has very strong opinions on, Thin Mints. Uh, these ones actually have a very strong aroma, which I love. Time to end this challenge with a bang. Minty, chocolatey, crunchy, nice smooth texture. Hey, what can I say there? The Thin Mints. So my personal take on Thin Mints, they're good. I think they're a bit overhyped. They're not no, as great as a lot of people claim to be. They're just a generic, crisp, chocolatey cookie with a, a peppermint aroma. Now, they're, they're fine, they're okay, but I feel like people just you know, give it way too much hype. Like, oh my god, they're the king of, or queen of Girl Scout cookies. I, was like, I, I like the s'mores and tagalongs better. <clears throat> Excuse me. text message I have received. Now, look at them when I'm done with the challenge. Oh boy, one more sleeve. Ugh, we're gonna get it done now. A full, but we're gonna get it done. Well, the challenge is winding down, but before I give my final reviews on all the cookies and my rankings, I wanna know, 
What's your favorite Girl Scout cookie? Let me know in the comments. And done. One hour and 15 minutes and 53 seconds. That was a really good challenge. I'm glad I did this. Let me grab all the boxes so I will give you guys my rankings and final reviews. All right, so after devouring every single box in front of me, I'm going to rank these cookies from my least favorite to my most favorite. At the bottom, number eight is the uh, Toffee Tastics. Number seven is the Trefoils. And number six, the Lemon Ups. Number five, Samoas. Samoas actually did way better than I thought they would because I'm not the biggest fan of coconut, but uh, I think the caramel kind of made up for it. I love caramel and I love dark chocolate. So Samoas number five. Thin Mints number four. Sorry for all your Thin Mint lovers. Dosi Dos surprisingly did very well. They're number three. S'mores number two, and Tagalongs, my all-time favorite. They remain number one. Tagalongs are my favorite Girl Scout cookie. So, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoy my content, make sure you smash that thumbs up button, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified of all future uploads. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch. If you have any suggestions for food and restaurant challenges you want to see me attempt, leave them in the comments or shoot me a message on social media and who knows, I may take you up on your challenge. I hope you guys enjoy Girl Scout cookie season. If there is a local Girl Scout troop in your area, buy a few boxes from them, support the Girl Scouts of America. Have an awesome day, and I will see you in my next food challenge. Take care.